Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the Bitcoin chart in front of you in a very objective manner. Um, what I mean by this is I'm not biased by bullish cases or bearish cases, the emotional side of the trades. I'm very much just going to share with you a technical analysis and uh, you know my perspective on the Bitcoin chart is I, I honestly could not care less where we are in, in two months time. I, I don't actually care whether we wait, break up to 11,000 or we break down to 8,000. For me it makes absolutely no difference. I will trade the chart and I will make money off of trading this chart because the technicals are really, really well respected. If you start joining the category of traders that are very emotionally attached to Bitcoin, and let me tell you that the majority of the market is so emotionally attached to these coins, like you're going to lose money. OK, so you've got to remove any of these biases of where you of where you just think Bitcoin's going to go, whether you think Bitcoin's really worth a hundred thousand dollars. So you're only interested in buying or whether you're a perma bear that you, you think Bitcoin is you know, going to zero. You've got to remove those emotions like who really cares? I mean, my personal opinion is I, I honestly couldn't care less, okay? And I have made a lot of money off of trading Bitcoin. So I think that's proof in the pudding. You've got to remove yourself from these these emotion emotions, basically, and just trade the chart for what it is. And, and once again, we have a really, really, really nice... Um, we have a really nice rejection that we had today. So I'll show you this position that I'm in at the moment. This is a short position. As you can see, once again, about $500 profit in at the moment. And I'm actually interested in switching this into a long, by the way. But um, not quite yet, but I'm very, very, very interested in a long. But you can see how, it, you know, this was a short that I took last night, basically, you know, getting pretty close to the high. And we've got another rejection from that region that's for me because this was a high <laughs> high resistance region but also really simply you have that swing failure pattern off the high don't you so you swing failure pattern the high and you get rejection you know it's good enough for a short position again not getting emotional i could i could have biases and ideas of where things are going but at the end of the day i'm going to stick to my technical analysis and i'm going to trade the charts okay so the range that we have overall it's it's you know it's the same range now should we, should we take a look this, this range going on for 80 81 days i mean that that's the magic of of the technical analysis isn't it that once you've done the original hard work on this um i've done very very little work in terms of intensive work on bitcoin because 80 days ago i recognized the range and since then it's just it's just been a gold mine it, it really really has and um you know I'm, I'm enjoying bitcoin because i feel feel as if i have this edge at the moment where I'm still trading Bitcoin every day and I, I feel as if a lot of the market is becoming really bored right now. OK, so th there's two types of traders at the moment. There's the trader that's saying Bitcoin is so boring. I'm not interested in this. I'm going going to come back when it moves. And then there's the trader such as myself that is really interested in, you know, scope trading all these moves, you know, still taking advantage because it's extremely technical. It's extremely technical the moves that you're seeing right now. OK, and that for me is opportunity. And I'm here for the opportunities. I'm not going to get bored like I'm interested in trading the range, basically. So, um, you know, we still have those same, you know, levels. So you're still looking at that support, 9,065. Okay, so 9,065 is still a big support. You're still looking at that resistance at, you know, 9,450. And um, I mean, ask yourself this. This is a rhetorical question. Think to yourself, are you seeing primarily bullish cases at the moment being presented to you? Or are you seeing primarily bearish cases presented to you at the moment? Are you seeing people that are only ever interested in shorting? Are you seeing people that are only ever interested in longing? Okay, I think I'm going to switch this into a long in a second. But um, I'll finish this analysis first. I'm not in any rush to do that. But um, yeah, so I want you to think to yourself, where have all the balls got? In, in my opinion... There's a there's a lot of bearish cases at the moment, but not so many people are interested in in the bullish scenarios. And I I, I I obviously I comprehend this because of the fact we're we're spending a lot of time at the low of the channel. Okay, we're spending a lot of time at the lows. The more time you test these supports, the obviously the weaker it gets. But at the same point, at the same moment in in time, there's there's not really many bullish scenarios around. So. When everybody becomes so one-sided, that is where you can get these quick moves to the upside to essentially short squeeze because everybody becomes so comfortable in their positions. I think you'll find a lot of people which will have shorted and just walked away. Obviously, they're, they're in no reason to think that that's a bad position at the moment, and I would you know, agree. But uh, you just have to be very, very aware of your key levels of resistance. And if you start to break these key levels, which there's going to be many, many stops based off of, you can imagine the impulses that you're going to get out of this. Combine that that I've just mentioned with the fact we're in an 80, like, 80 day long range with open interest increasing. 
you know, we're, we're ready for fireworks. And I'm not going to be one of these YouTubers that's going to um, that's going to say to you, oh, my God, we're just about to break up. We're just about to go to twenty thousand dollars. Like, you know, there's so much I, 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 you know, I personally don't like it because it's so it's just so misleading i suppose it's really really misleading um I, you know my my opinion on this market is the same as it has been for the last 80 days you know we have got to just trade this range and there's a lot of money to be made on trading this range okay what we just saw a really quite a, you know in terms of percentage small percentage move but that's still you know from from this last from this evening okay from that last evening okay so we're talking about like 12 hours you know 500 dollars is it's pretty nice um and again these are just like technical technical trades there's nothing hard about that there's really nothing hard about that trade um so yeah that, that's kind of my perspective i just wanted to wanted to do this video really to just to bring a little bit of clarity just to calm you know people down i want you to look at this market in a non-biased way okay stop you know, try and remove yourself from people that are only bullish and people that are only bearish because they can only bring bad things in terms of trading. They can only really bring bad, bad you know, bad things to the, your perspective on the chart. You know, you've got to have this perspective at the moment that is very, very much so or a perspective of, OK, this this can break up, this can break down. I want to get myself into the best position possible to make advantage of, of this. And, and this all comes from having a plan. OK, so set yourself a plan. I'm bullish when price gets above this. I'm bearish when price gets above this. Maybe you're not so interested in taking a trade at the moment because you could say, you know, this is a 50-50 trade. I want to take the highest probability trades. OK, so when you come up to resistance, you know, you've got good probabilities as well when you come down to support which I actually think this 9150 is a support. So um, when you come down to support, you've got to be looking at taking profits and then potentially switching back into longs and trading the market really until it breaks. You can see what I'll show you here, okay, is you have a really nice local channel, okay? So you have this going on here, okay? So you haven't quite touched the low of this. You didn't quite touch the high. So you can see how there's slight front run on the high and slight front runs on the lows here. But nevertheless, you have a nice upward sloping channel making low, high, higher low higher high potentially just higher low at the moment okay this is you know yet to be confirmed because we're still actually in the impulse down but um you know things that i like to look at is you know then combining this with a bit of fibonacci so what i do for example is look at my fibonacci extension and probably extend it like this so then i can start to see okay one-to-one -one extension on the bottom of this channel nine nine one twenty nine thousand one hundred twenty is pretty big support isn't it because we're starting to build up a case of confluences we're starting to see levels come together and we're starting to say okay if we can see several different technical analysis tools coming together here or isn't that giving us a much higher probability trade for a bounce you know, that's that's the case. That's how I work my technical analysis. Anyway, I, I like to use a lot of different tools and then build up a real strong case that I can say to myself, um, you know, I've taken I've taken God knows how many trades, you know, millions of trades off of these different ideas. And I can say to myself, OK, when I see these tools come together uh, so many times in the past, I just have like full confidence in taking these trades. Like I'm not going to be hesitating in the time. You know, I'm not a trader that will hesitate. I will take the trades and I put money on. I put money where my mouth is on every single trade idea that I give. And, you know, obviously I'm not a hundred percent win rate. You know, I, I will win trades. I will lose trades. But at the end of the day, I win a lot more trades than I lose. And obviously my winners are much bigger than my losers. So the confidence that I have in taking these trades is just because I have the statistics that it works. And I just have the, you know, it's like a ingrained in my brain. How many times have I seen these setups and they play out? So it's just like you, you take it without thinking almost, you know, you obviously have the technical analysis and your plan already done. And uh, then you just execute, you know, you execute without thinking when it when it arrives. Um, for example, uh, I done a champions live stream last night and um, I was giving some key resistances. I don't really want to go into too much depth because I feel it's a really big advantage. But I was giving a key resistance region. OK, so when we come up to these resistance regions, then, um, you know, you got to, you know, all I'm, all I'm trying to say here is I had a, pl a plan, a plan. And when things start to come together in my plan, I, I execute a plan. OK, um, so that's how I trade. And uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a different video, I suppose, for you today. Um, I think it was a video where I've just highlighted to you, really, um, you got to got to trade this this chart for what it is okay i wouldn't really be so bearish and you know i wouldn't you know i understand so let's let's, let's end with this what, what what are the bearish scenarios right now well the, clearly the bearish scenario is that you're spending a lot of time at the lows okay spending a lot of time at the lows the more time you test this the weaker it gets and it does mean you can absolutely avalanche really quickly down through it 
okay so that's kind of the bearish bearish scenario but unless you have your swing shorts from much higher up i i personally wouldn't be opening swing shorts at the lows because i'm not i i just wouldn't do that at the moment you know I have a swing short, but it's from 9,880. So my swing short is from much higher. So, um, you know, in terms of a swing trade, yeah, I, I wouldn't short down here for a swing. But nevertheless, you know, that's my perspective. So, yeah, that's the bearish scenario, though, you know, that this is a very tested support that's getting weaker and weaker. But at the same time, what's what's the bullish scenario on this? Well, the bullish scenario is <laughs> look at the stock market. You know, obviously, we're pulling back slightly on the ES today but it's really really flat that you're up against the monthly resistance on the stock market okay so you got monthly resistance on that and i will show you that really quickly okay so you're up against that and where that's 3237 points and you can see the consolidation that's happening just below it okay it got slightly front run back on the 15th and from there you've just well, you've just gone really range bound again, haven't you? So when you when you're trading these as ranges, you could, you know it's, it's profitable. But you know to acknowledge that you've got that same resistance on Bitcoin, which is the last high that you rejected off of a monthly, and you're seeing that on the stock market as well. But on the stock market, I believe it's more so consolidation on the resistance and will break up. So remembering the correlation, if we're if well personally, if I'm expecting a break up on the stock market, then I got to envision that Bitcoin can stay correlated. Uh, you know, I I do also know, by the way, don't don't think I'm silly, but I do know that the correlation is more for five minute time frame traders or less. So um, yeah, nevertheless, you know, I know I know this. You don't need to you don't need to comment in the section below, but you know. Even though we got that, you know, we got the low term time frame correlation, I still do think it would be strange to see uh, the stock market breaking the monthly and for Bitcoin to remain down here. I see a lot of selling pressure at the lows and aggressive selling, okay, a really aggressive selling at the lows and not actually so much to show, show for it. So we can say that the market looks like it wants to go lower, but it's not really, it's not really going lower, is it? So what's happening there? Um, you know, that's where you can start to look at things such as footprint charts, looking into the data, looking into the candlesticks. Are we seeing, you know, divergences here? What's what's the bigger, you know, what's what's the context of what we're in? Where have we come from? How have we entered this range? And how where, you know, how are we likely to leave this range? Those are the sort of questions that you need to start asking yourself, really, uh, if you want to be ahead of the game, okay? And you're not actually. I I truly feel that you could even be wrong at the moment. You know, let's say you feel that it's going. Say so you feel that it's going down. When this starts to break up, you you can be wrong on your analysis and take the you know the initial loss. And I still believe that you can fully take advantage on the bigger move that will come off of this. Um, but as long as you have a plan ready to trade this, be it to the upside or be it to the downside, as long as you have a plan to trade this, I truly feel that you can make a lot of money when this breaks. Because I'm expecting follow through. I'm personally expecting follow through. Uh, until then, you know I've I've shown you I'm I'm in these sort of scope positions on bitcoin i do hold a swing trade but i'm actually very much interested in a move to the upside i must admit i'm i'm looking for a move up here so um that's why i'm very interested in switching in my short i'm in at the moment into a long i want to give this a, maybe another well maybe another two hours till the u.s market open that's in uh two hours and uh 20 minutes but if we can hold this support myself i'm interested in a long but um you know, you've got to trade your own plans, not financial advice, but, you know, I'm interested in a long. Um, so, yeah, if we can get 9120, then even better. But, you know, we'll wait and see if that if that's the case. 9120, 9110. Um, but, yeah, that, that's kind of my not so much really analysis, but just a perspective on the market. And I, I feel, um, you know, I'm one of the most profitable traders in the whole of crypto. So for me to give you some guidance, I, I hope that this has helped you. OK, so for wrapping up points of the guidance here was you know honestly if you can identify these ranges then the the ranges are just insanely profitable like very 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 nice trading on the ranges so if you can start to identify these then like you you just you just set okay and then secondly you want to trade that range till it breaks so stop getting bullish at the highs stop getting bearish at the lows okay you got to be looking for shorts at the highs and long for the lows and uh, you know just just trade the range until it breaks and if you can identify the range before it even forms well you you're on a gold mine so um you know that's my advice for you block out the things where people are just going to be saying bitcoin's one day away from breaking out we're going to 300,000 or or one week and you know urgent news bitcoin's going to you know all these sort of things you know it's just no good for you you know really isn't so um and i'm not i'm not trying to say that my content's better than anyone else's either i'm just trying to give you a very unbiased perspective on the market 
of some potential bullish signs, some potential bearish signs. And really, I'm not even going to say that I'm going to try and predict it. I'm just saying I'm reacting from the information that I'm given. So I'm not a genius here. You know, I'm making money on the charts, but I'm by, I'm by far a genius. I am just really simply trading what the chart gives me. So I am not trying to predict here. I'm not trying to even time the highs or time the lows. I'm just waiting for reactions and taking trades like you know that you know that's how i'm trading it and it's clearly going very very well so um yeah that's my analysis of today i will end by saying this for um myself that if you're interested in in depth analysis for myself if you're interested in live updates then a live stream last night for the champions i've done a live stream this morning before this for an hour for the contenders and the champions so if you're interested in a lot of my live content where yeah, today I went very, very, very in depth on a few different altcoins and really nice setups that we have there. Um, you know, if you're interested in that in depth analysis and um, really, really getting into technical analysis, seeing how we mark out the charts and, and really getting to the bottom of how you make money on this trading, then you know, you're more than welcome to come across. If not, then, you know, I have so many uh, free free videos on YouTube, which you can like sit through and spend days. <laughs> you know, there's there's a lot of content here on the YouTube so that you can pick up little things and you know you can definitely you can definitely do it without without joining the paid content so um you know that's for the more people that want to really take it serious but yeah final words and i will say trade the range until it breaks obviously we do have the trading competition coming up i'm looking forward to that and uh, yeah have a good week ahead everybody monday we got a lot of opportunity coming up altcoins moving really 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 nicely obviously phantom the big one today um but yeah i'm loving the altcoins at the moment i must be honest with you um, a little bit more focused on them trading altcoins more than bitcoin at the moment but nevertheless still in, still trading bitcoin but more focused on alts and um yeah that, that's my final words of today i hope that you have a brilliant week ahead everybody i honestly hope that you can make some money on the charts or even if you're not interested in making money at the moment just study the charts and start to recognize the patterns you know that will help you in the future so um yeah my my best regards everybody hope that you have a brilliant week and yeah cheers thanks goodbye